Hello everybody, this is Grant with the Urban Foresters and uh, I'm here today in the Sam Houston National Forest. Uh, look how beautiful this is out here. Just a lovely day on um, in December in Houston. I'm in short sleeves, you know. If anyone's watching this up north, I'm sure you're not liking us right now, but uh, just a beautiful day today. And you may be asking, why is the Urban Forester in the woods? Why are we out here in in the middle of nowhere, seemingly, um, in all these trees? Well, I wanted to talk to you a little bit of today about soil and why is it that uh, your trees in your yard don't look this great? Why why do we have these scrawny, small trees that don't seem to grow very well? And um, I can't get my trees to grow tall and big and beautiful like we see here in a natural setting. Well. What we're talking about today is soil. Um, tree fertility and your tree's ability to grow and, and live a long life and be healthy and beautiful is almost 100% related to the soil. Um, and in order for us to talk about your urban soil that you probably have in your yard, uh, I want to first start by talking about um, these forest soils, the kind of soil that your tree is uh, genetically you know, has has grown up for thousands of years, being used to, and all of a sudden it finds itself inside of of a of, a, of an urban setting, and and lo and behold, your tree doesn't grow as well. So let's just talk a little bit about um, forest soils. Um, and the first thing that you'll notice when you look at what you would think would be soil is you don't see any soil at all, do you? You see tons and tons of organic matter. You know, we've got just sticks and logs and broken twigs and, and leaves and pine needles and uh, let me show you here even if we pull this back if we kind of pull some of these pine needles back away from the ground still you can see this soil I don't know if you can tell but that's almost all just old leaf matter and, and ground up organics and um, you know just everything that's been sitting here for the past oh I don't know 20 or 30 years just just decaying and if you if you dig down even further you'll notice the soil here is really really soft and and kind of spongy and very friable um, which means that you can you can break it up easily it doesn't it's not real clay or gummy and um, nasty if you've ever dug a hole in your yard you've probably noticed that your soil doesn't look anything like this and and that's the problem uh, and I'm gonna bring you guys here after a while to an urban setting and I'm going to show you what your lot looked like before there was grass or, or landscaping or a home even there uh, and what's necessary for the developers in order to build your home uh, in a way that it's not going to fall over because if you put a home on top of this your house is going to sink you know I mean uh, you can't build a house on top of spongy soft uh, organic soil um, unfortunately though trees and the kind of soils that you can't even really call it soil the kind of dirt the kind of fill that is brought in on a lot uh, is just not good for growing trees so what we're going to talk about in the end of this video is what can we do in our urban setting in order to better facilitate good healthy tree growth how can I help my little small tree grow faster uh, people ask me all the time Grant what kind of tree can I plant uh, that grows fast. I want a fast growing tree. I want, I want shade, you know, as soon as possible. And, you know, really, um, a lot of trees will grow at almost the same rate if you just will feed them, fertilize them, take care of your soil, condition the soil, aerate it, you know, good watering. All those things are, are what are going to bring you a, a good high quality, uh, well, the best quality you can get in an urban setting. Um, so, I, that's basically what I wanted to show you today. Uh, we'll talk a little bit of more, a little bit more about what we can do in the urban setting. But uh, you know, here is where your tree was meant to live. This is this is what it's it's designed by God to be able to grow well. Uh, so what we can do, and I'll talk about this later, is is you know we'll be able to add some things to our urban soils to try to mimic what nature has done. Uh, you know to create these giant you know 80 100 foot tall trees and beautiful healthy canopies and all that so uh, thanks so much and I'll be right back uh, to take a short break and we'll be in the city hey all of a sudden. you're here with the all urban right, foresters today uh, for the second half of our soil video 
We're here in Sugarland today in a neighborhood called Telfair. Uh, you may be familiar with it. Um, it's on the uh, southwest side of Sugarland, um, and you can see I'm here on a, uh, a brand new build. Um, and I wanted to show you what what the soil, if you can call this soil, looks like underneath your grass. If you live anywhere in a uh, in an urban setting, um, this is definitely not the same as what we saw earlier in the National Forest. You can see there's just no organic matter, uh, no living organisms are in here. Actually, most of this soil, most of this dirt that we see here was actually dredged up out of, uh, out of a drainage ditch. Uh, if you can see this, uh, these are all flood control measures that neighborhoods have to have built to put, uh, you know, to make sure that there's no flood problems when they build a new home. But uh, this makes a really, really poor environment for uh, growing trees. Um, and you can just tell by looking at this stuff, it is nasty. And if, if you live here in Sugarland uh, or, or anywhere where there's a, a new construction uh, and you've ever tried to dig a hole in this, you know it's just rock solid. You can see here, um, you know, a, ba a backhoe or some sort of bobcat came through this area uh, and has compacted the soil down. Um, underneath my boots right now, I can feel it. It's just really rock solid. Uh, you're starting to get the idea that what I'm trying to show you is the distinction between a forested soil and a, na and a native natural soil and this, uh, what we're working with. And um, this is the main reason why our small, our, our trees in the urban setting live uh, shorter lives. They're not as healthy. They don't look as nice and um, why we have a really hard time getting good urban trees is because of this soil issue. It's, it's, it's not a, there's not a disease, there's not a, a pest, it's usually soil related. So what can we do to help the situation? How can we get nice healthy trees in an urban setting? You have to condition your soils. Um, what we recommend is doing a deep root stimulation in the fall months. Um, not a heavy nitrogen fertilizer, um, something that's just got some micronutrients in it, some beneficial bacteria and some organic matter we can put back into the soil. And we do that with a soil probe. We actually uh, push this um, metal rod down into the soil. We have a, a, a high pressure pump and we pump in a, a slurry mixture of some, some nutrients and water. And that actual process of, of, of the, the water going into the soil will break up that soil a little bit. And over time, uh, doing that maybe just twice a year, we do a fall application, a spring application, and in the spring we do a higher nitrogen fertilizer. We can actually put back some of the good qualities that we had in the soil in the um, in the forested setting. So uh, I hope that makes sense for everybody. Uh, if you live in an area that that's you know an urban setting and you have small trees, don't think that an arborist can't help you out. Um, Caring for those trees when you're young is, is probably the most important thing you can do. Don't wait uh, you know, until you have a problem and the tree's looking sickly. Even if you just planted your trees or you just moved into your house, um, you know, get onto a, a, a tree maintenance program, a soil conditioning program. Could be as little as you know, $50 per visit. You know, so $100 a year and you're really doing a lot to, um, to benefit your trees, to, you know, to increase your property value. And as you know, in a lot of these new neighborhoods, um, almost all small trees, you know, if, if you want to have the house that has the big, the bigger tree, the faster growing tree, you really got to feed those things. Um, that's the best thing you can do to get a, a nice, beautiful tree. Um, my name is Grant. Again, I'm with the Urban Foresters. I'm the owner. If you have a question about trees or you'd like to learn more about uh, soil fertilization or, or root stimulations, please give me a call. My number is 832-731-6531 or come check out our website www.theurbanforesters.com. Thanks a lot. You'll have a great day.